All right, today's the day. Driving nails, the finale. I've got the wind behind my back, perfect conditions, pretty much. Got the scope just about as close as I can get it. I am now at 20 yards, 60 feet. I don't know what that is in meters for my Canadian friends there. Uh, I have one target down there. I'm gonna take uh, three more shots at it after I make one more adjustment on the scope. Just a minor adjustment. And it's time to drive, baby. Here we go. All right, there's the weapon, the stand, the table. Uh, the target, yeah, I can see it right there on the top of the screen. I think. But anyway. It's right down there. Now, I was going to do this with two uh, cameras, but it's it's not going to work. I can't even get uh, that flimsy tripod I got to stand up with my SLR. So we're going to have to do it this way. But I ain't got no reason to lie. There, this camera will zoom in far enough to see the nails. So when I go to shoot, I'm going to zoom this in and uh, be able to see the impact. So I'm going to get loaded up and get ready. All right, ready to start here. I got 15 in one magazine. I got three in the other. Just to shoot on this target here. Oh crap. Now, as you can probably tell, I think that's maximum zoom. I ended up painting them nails black. And once I got out of here in the bright light, that fluorescent green wasn't working. Flore I tried to fluorescent yellow on top of the green. That just made it more yellowish green and harder to see on the white with the sunlight. So I come up with a brainstorm of black and at 20 yards, I can see black. So here we go. Right, one down. Take the old shoot low. Let's see. I didn't see two of them. Alright, right, we go take the gander at it. Load it up. I'm gonna compensate. Let's see what happens. All right. So the way I'm gonna try this, I got two bullets in the top hole. One bullet down below. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it up eighth of an inch. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go here. Go to the left. I'll start at the left. There's the nails. 
Max on zoom. All right. Anyway, I'm going to bring it up a couple notches. And I'm going to aim just above the nail. And I'll try the first nail. And see what happens. below. So much for being on. Let's see. Stand by. I'm going to go check. I got to get closer than that. Okay. I'm just going to move over to the next two. To be center of the screen there. facing me now so that's not not ideal would really help if this had a little lighter trigger pull. It was like I got one. Because it keeps pulling to the left. Let's see. That's about an inch at 20 yards. I took it over, but... Let me go check. Yeah, we'll see you again. I think I got one though. Well, hot diggity dog, man. Looks like I got two out of ten. So I've resolved the setting on there. I got five more rounds left. Uh, I'm going to try and take out as many remainders as I can. I got eight. I may stick in a few more rounds. Make it even one for one. Stand by.
All right, I made a small adjustment on the scope to push it over to the right a little bit. About a quarter of an inch is all. And uh, let's see if I can knock in some more. I only had seven rounds left. I think it was. But let's see what I can bang out here. that top left one again. First one on the left. Crap. Oh, stand by a minute. Top one on the left. Coming up. <laughs> Bottom left. Okay, uh, I think I got that one. All right, next one over to the right on the top. Next one down on the bottom. Next one to the left. Next one below that. If I got a bullet left. She got one left. All right, the furthest one to the right with the bottom. Maybe. All right, man. You all know watching it before I know standing up to look at it. Stand by. We'll go take a look. See what happened. All right, man, not as good as I would have hoped, but you know what? Not bad for an old man. So I got three out of 10, nicked a fourth one, and actually it pushed the nail part way into the hole and it took a piece off the head. I'm gonna show you here in a minute. So we could count that as a fourth hit out of 10, or we could call it three and a half if you want to, but yeah, regardless. I need to bent that one, but it still hit it direct enough. That's what ricocheted the bullet. There's the next one down below. You can see the nick off the head. Two in the same spot there. I don't know what the hell deal was there. One on each side, one above, one below. It's just, the trick is I found, I set that laser to where I can actually see the black head on the nail through the laser. I think I should have set it one more notch lighter, the laser, as the other one. And then I could have, uh, that's all I was doing was putting the laser over the head of the nail and squeezing the trigger. But uh, I got a crappy stand, but I ain't gonna make excuses. I'm happy. And I'm happy enough to try it again. So, all in all. Heavy in the south. Driving nails. Till the next time. 
if you want to try it nine millimeter carbine high point is what i used use what the hell you want to you got to use a red dot you can't use a regular scope green dot whatever fits your fancy 20 yards 60 feet that's what i tried it at give it a whirl i'm out